New South Wales police say the authorities that run the Villawood Detention Centre don't have the appropriate powers to stop riots similar to the ones that broke out earlier this year. The company that runs the centre says it didn't anticipate having to deal with that level of violence. In April, asylum seekers who said they had no other option rioted at Sydney's Villawood Detention Centre. Two days earlier, New South Wales Assistant Police Commissioner Frank Minnelli held a meeting with Immigration Department officials and the private company that runs the detention centre, Serco. He says he warned then of the possibility of just such an event occurring. At the end of the scenario, and a debrief was conducted, I was told that the scenario was unrealistic and it would never happen. But it did. And because the centre is Commonwealth property, the Assistant Commissioner says the roles of Serco officials and police were unclear. I believe we have very limited powers and I can say till this day that has still not been clarified in my mind. Serco staff have limited powers too. He's suggesting changing the laws, for example, to allow them to force detainees off roofs. It just shows again that this, this government was not prepared for the chaos that was unleashed and in the detention network uh, when it all went to seed. Assistant Commissioner Minnelli believes Villawood isn't the appropriate place for people who start riots. The federal police agree that it's a concern. Other than a maximum security prison like Silverwater, mm. uh, their, uh, Serco and Dyke are limited in their ability to accommodate these people appropriately. But the Greens say detainees at Villawood are desperate people, not criminals. I think uh, the Assistant Commissioner's uh, evidence today was clouded by the fact he doesn't know who is in these facilities. She also criticised the department's media policy. She thinks the centre should be open to the media. Serco says it never anticipated the level of violence that it saw in this riot. And when the police couldn't intervene, it says it had no choice but to lock down the facilities it could and get all its staff out of harm's way. Company officials say they were under the impression the police could intervene if needed. We, we came to a situation where we did request, uh, mm. but we were, uh, we were then told that, that it wasn't their jurisdiction. The request for assistance was then referred on to the federal police, but they said they didn't have the resources to respond. Sam Iken, World News Australia. Well, to have your say on whether or not it's in the public interest for the media to have access to detention centres, go to SBS Online.